In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do good light mapping in Unity 3D, um, particularly how to fake global illumination, which is a Unity Pro only feature. Uh, but I think we can get pretty close results with the, uh, the free version, at least for, for my uses. It's been good. Okay, the first thing we have to do is any object we want light mapping to effect, we need to mark as static. Yes, I'm going to change all the children. We also do not want any animations applied because it will ignore it if it has animations applied. Okay, so uh, we also need to make sure any models that are used, 3D models, have the right import settings applied. Um, I like to have Unity calculate the normals for my 3D models. I use Blender as a 3D modeling program. Sometimes it can mess up the normals a bit. Um, we also want to click generate light map UVs. Otherwise, the light mapping will not look correct at all. So those are two tricks. I didn't know at first, and I found only through trial and error, so hopefully that'll save you some time. Okay, and now we are ready to bake the scene. Um, the light mapping window is not shown by default, so you want to go to the window drop-down and click light mapping. Um, I already have it here. Also, I set the resolution to something around 5, um, and I may want to up it later when I'm happy with the res results, but just for speed and uh, memory size and performance, um, 5 is perfect. Okay, let's bake the scene. One helpful tidbit while it's baking the scene is this show resolution toggle. That uh, shows you how, what the density of the shadows will be when they're baked onto the scene. Okay, oh, it's done. Um, it doesn't really look different. It basically looks like the flat version um, with non-baked lighting. Uh, so it's not that impressive. You don't really see any gains, and I'll show you why. The default settings are pretty lame. <laughs> um, how you're going to get good looking shadows is you're going to bump up the ambient occlusion all the way to one. Um, I mean, you can fiddle with these settings a bit. Also, the default max distance will be like 1.5. I find 3, 1.5 is okay, but I find 3 to look even better. And the contrast of 1 seems to be good as well. Okay, uh, this now let's bake the scene again. Let's see if we can get better results than that. Okay, while it's baking the scene there, let me show you the difference between uh, this on the left is non-baked lighting and on the right is baked lighting. And this does not have any occlusion. Um, what's it called? Inclusion? Ambient inclusion uh, in use. So there's no shadows being cast off of any of the objects. So, But I guess under the awning and stuff, all that lighting is baked on there. So I guess that might be helpful. Um, I don't think you're going to see much of a performance boost. And it doesn't look any better than the non-baked lighting. So let's see how much better we can do. It's almost finished. Come on. That, here it goes. Wow, so that looks pretty good to me. Uh, you can see that there's soft shadows underneath the hedges and underneath the porch. Um, the wa If this was during the daytime, it may not be that realistic. Uh, I think the walls here would not be so dark. Um, here, let me maximize this. Um, but it's a monumental, monument, a huge improvement <laughs> over 
non-baked lighting. You can even see near the chimney there's like soft shadows being cast. Uh, it, it really tricks you to, that it uh, gives you that feeling of more photorealism. Um, but we can do better than this. Uh, now, this is the part that I'm going to try to fake the global illumination. Um, to do so, I have a rig set up here with uh, five different directional lights, and they're all. I'm going to turn off my old directional light. Um, so one of them is the sun. That's the strong one. It's set at like 0 0.8. And then the other ones try to emulate the scattering of light um, from the sun. And that will give everything, give you more believable scattering of light. Uh, this probably works best for outdoor scenes, but it could work for indoor scenes as well. I haven't really tested that too much. Okay, so that's really the huge trick, and let's give this a bake. Okay, and we are baked. <laughs> the scene is baked. We may not be baked. Um, so you can see it looks a good deal better. Um, the sides of the house aren't as dark and the porch is not quite as overblown. Um, also these soft shadows underneath the hedges are a little more convincing. Um, this grass isn't casting as big of a shadow. Um, so it's a slight improvement but I feel like it's totally worth it. Um, and yeah, that's my tutorial. I hope to prov provide more later down the road. Thanks.